Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here with Noli, and welcome to Sid Shock. Found this game on Google Play. It looked interesting. Seems more like a 3D type action RPG, somewhat. So I wanted to see what it was all about, since I'm just now seeing this game. It probably was in like pre-register, and I've never seen it. I had to tap. I guess people aren't going to read for me this time. Feels bad, mate. I swear to God, I was about to say, I swear, if it's another black text, I'm skip skipping. Damn it. Okay, let's go into summons, apparently. Okay, so Valkyrie. So I'm guessing this is our tank. She looks more like a healer, though. So Chris takes 1,000 to do a 5 summon. Okay, so they sold off the summons first. I appreciate that. I, I didn't even do anything. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, so the explosions are used for leveling. You're also going to need the equipment to make their rarity go up, I'm guessing. Either that or sexual equipment. I'm kind of doubting that. Okay, so you can get random battles. Okay, that's what it is. I guess that's pretty neat. I'm gonna turn off auto skills. Ah, oh, it's already over. <laughs> Feels bad, mate. I wanted to try out the skills myself. I wasn't expecting you guys just to... Oh, okay. Well, this is... That's pretty much all they taught us. Okay, very simple and straightforward, I guess. <laughs> okay, so we got some tickets. A free unit, also. Okay, so there aren't only just female characters. There's male characters, too. Energy. Give me all. Okay, so let's see. To evolve, you need shards, so it's a shard collecting game, also. Noted. Okay, so those are our only tickets right here. Shard summons. So you don't get actual characters from this from this summon. It's nothing but shards. Special shards. If you want to do a 10 summon for guaranteed characters, I guess it would be 5,000. So you would have to have a long time of saving up. Okay, so the target is on the top left. That's how, who I'm hunting for. Okay, so those are our skills. I guess there is a reason to leave auto on. Okay, 
So yeah, it's basically a quick and easy gameplay. Nothing like too complicated. We're 50% done. Ah, huh, okay. Other enemies we're looking for. I'm curious what these finishers are, since it saves up between like stages. You know, it's, it's nice to have fast matches. Which is really, really good that there's fast matches. But... Mm, never mind. I was going to say the loading screens have to be a little bit faster. Since the matches are so fast. But they seem to be alright once you like actually look at it. Oh, there he is. But yeah, and I've never been a huge fan of, like, shark collecting games. They've always been, like, really tedious and pretty much hinders of how much progress you can make. Just because you, you can never get the shards you want, man. Then as you're leveling your characters, it requires even more shards, which are really difficult to obtain. That's, that's the main reason why I was never a huge fan of like shard collecting. And why you guys see me mostly play actual games that give you the summon and not just shards just to make the summon, you know? Like, when I'm playing the Alchemist Code, they actually give me the character before they give me the shards, you know, most of the time. Well, actually. Oh, yeah, all the time, to be honest. Then you pretty much just farm for the rest, and, you know, the units become farmable down the future, so it's not really too chaotic or anything like that. It's basically one of those do missions and grow things. But I'm kind of curious if this game has the same... But it seems like you're going to have to really work for it or it's going to cost you. Oh, whoops. Because nobody likes tedious progress. I'm pretty sure Wells will be really into it. That's just because they're just buying their way through. But as a free-to-play... That will definitely keep some people away from it. Unless they find your gameplay interesting. I can see some people just, you know, getting behind this. You know, just playing it. Having fun. That could be a thing. So I can use a finisher. I thought it was going to have amazing... Amazing, like, animation and all, but everything died before I could. Doesn't seem like you get a lot, either. So if you're gonna save up for one of the guaranteed character summons, which we don't really know if it's a guaranteed character, actually, not think about it. What's in here? Nope, you still have a huge chance of getting shards. So what's in this one? You have a really low chance of actually getting the character. And this one is even lower. So you can get, like, full characters out of these. But the ones that would be the most worth is just this one. Which is going to cost you 5,000. This one's going to cost you 20... Well, 2,500. Which I can see it being, being like really tedious. Because the more characters they add, the more, well, the less of a chance you're going to actually get the character you want. Or shards for that character you want. But normally games like this have like... I 
Oh, this is their talking screen. But like I was saying, most games have like a hard stage to where you can farm shards, you know. But with me just seeing that there's 80 shards that you need to evolve, it's kind of... Kind of like far-fetched. Like, look at this. You're going to need 80 to go above 4. Which, eh. Actually, pretty standard. But this Valkyrie desires 40 shards, and she's just level 1. But also, you can just make them stronger by ranking them up with better and better equipment, you know, make her stronger, and then you can skill up. But there's only so much that rank up can do for characters, which I've learned from other games. Okay, see, they have farmable stages, but the question is how much do you get from those stages? These are the most of the things you guys got to think of when you're playing these type of like shard games. You know, I'm not trying to rack up or anything. I'm just saying that you guys definitely have to mostly think about how much you want to invest in a game that doesn't really give you drops or anything. From what I've seen, the game gives me like 10 drops per like um, achievement I get. But it's also random and also class based too so far. I'm kind of interested to see how much more they'll give me. From the summons, it was six. Well, six to five, right? I'm guessing that's kind of de decent. I'm pretty sure if you were to get the character out of the banner, it would turn into shards. And you'll probably get like, I want to say 20 since they're giving you stuff from banner. You only get um, three crystals per stage, and the stages do take quite a while to get through. Okay, thank you. So I wonder what events are up. I mean, Arena should also have shards too. So far, really fast matches. Do they have an arena? They have a boss raid. I haven't seen anything. Oh, most of the Korean players are up here. But I haven't really seen anything towards like PvP or anything. So I'm guessing that's not in the game. There are dungeons. Oh, nope. Here it is. So I have to go out a little bit further to get Coliseum. Ah, that's like chapter 3 stuff, which would take a while to get to. But yeah, like I was saying, Arena should have shards, and Arena characters are normally the easiest ones to get if you're like actively in Arena. I would say they're, they're kind of the fastest ones to get from, like, just stories. Bro, 
overall, it's a pretty decent game for anybody who just wants to, you know, sit back and chill. You know, just go through a little bit of fast matches and stuff like that. So that's done. I thought we were done. Okay, welcome. So that is pretty much the gameplay. Nothing too out of place or anything like that. Let's see how many characters they have. They have quite a bit. Not a, not like a whole lot right now, which is probably the best time to start this game if you guys are interested. This right here would be the very best time to start this while they have the least amount of characters. Because once they start adding new ones, it's going to be way harder to level them up. look pretty strange but you know well they actually don't look exactly like their art style with like clothes wise but I guess that's fine unless they're gonna add costumes for it I guess I mean she's in her exact costume everybody else is not but pretty cool designs towards like art I still got two of these. These JJ's coins. It's also something I want to look at. What is this? So I'm guessing these are milestones? This thing shards for. Okay. Okay, so who is the lowest one I want right now? Pretty sure all these characters they have. Yeah, these four. Is it one time buy? Okay, no. You can buy it as much as you can or much as you want. So that's also an easy way to get characters. You know what? Not too bad. Especially since you get so many from the uh, banner that you can just come over here and get any of these characters that are currently up. That is actually pretty interesting to do that. So they have a way for free to play players to get in. Okay, these are honor, so I'm guessing these are PvP stuff. There's battle chests and stuff. Hmm. Yeah, those hot deals. Alright, and then a free shard summon every 12 hours. But yeah, the things that I was talking about at the beginning of the video is just things that need to be addressed when... Somebody, when well, one of you devs create like a shard game, shard collecting is pretty much really hard to gain fans off of. Just because nobody likes really collecting shards or wasting so much time collecting shards. You gotta try and do it right. If you guys can pull that off, you know, it will be like really good. So far, I can see a little bit, a little bit of promise. But is it my type of game? Not really. Let me just make my name here. But yeah, it's not really too much of my game. Or anything I'm like really interested in. Oh, here's PvP. Are these the honor stuff? No, these are just goad.
Huh. So these just give crystals. Wow, even first place would have some time to get uh, 5,000. And this is seasonal. So honor isn't for that. Unless it's from Coliseum. And there's um, raids too. Past uh, Desert of Death. And once we get put, done with that, we would get um, dungeons. I would say let's get past this, but this stuff does take quite a while to get through. Because I actually want to see at least what dungeons are. And you have to be level 80 to be able to use um, triple speed. I'm pretty sure they'll give you a way to buy it. If we didn't already see it. Also keep your characters gears up to date and their rankings. At least want to get everybody to rank one. Ranking is also not the same thing as leveling. Or evolving. Breaking just gives basically the stats of the gears you just put on. They permanently keep those uh, stats. definitely go through a few monsters. Maybe you can actually skip them. So finishers aren't used automatically. You gotta use that automatically. We can skip this, right? Oh, you can. But can you skip all the way to the... Yeah, okay, yeah, you can. You can skip all the way to the boss. But I wouldn't recommend that, especially if you're trying to rank up your characters. And then there were six. Now this guy looks like a badass. Yeah, I, I had second thoughts about that. <laughs> I mean, I doubt we're going to get stuck early. But better... You know what? I was going to say better not to shake chances, but I'm pretty sure we have like a lot of ether. To even go through this. Well, you still get gears from like these little gifts that they live around. Now, this would took a while to get to the boss.
I was about to say, he would definitely kill somebody in the party if we didn't rank up. Oh, he's got her like a boss. Okay. So you could just summon him at certain times. Interesting. So it was like... So that's what basically grades are looking like? Or robots? Put your units in one at a time? I know a few games like that. Just like deploying your units. But I honestly do say, at least give it a try. And get your own grasp of how you feel about the game. So, dungeons. So, these coins are basically dungeons. Dungeon, um... Oh, it's basically just like doing any other normal dungeon that we've done inside of like the normal story. I'd say, geez, except for you're way further out. So when you're doing this, you definitely want to hit everything because it looks like these dungeon coins or dungeon stamina are like pretty lacking compared to your actual like stamina stuff. Did that guy taunt us or something? Oh, we also have a character with a barrier. Nice. Um, okay, and the game is glitching. Well, that's... Oh my god, it actually just crashed. Well, feels bad. <laughs> I guess that's where we're going to end it. Well, guys... <laughs> this is what I was getting ready to end it soon. But, yeah, that's pretty much it to show for the game. If you guys want to try it out yourselves, I definitely say give it a shot. I, I wouldn't, like, take my full-on opinion about it. Mostly just because I played a lot of shark games. You guys probably haven't. You guys probably want to experience one. And that said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.